Hello and happy Friday. How's everyone doing today? I'm in the process of adjusting lights because it is so dark in Oklahoma because it's about the thunderstorm. So I'm trying to make everything JJ approved. I hope everyone is having a good Friday. We made it through another week. Popping out the chat here. <clears throat> Glenda, Fred, Brent, Annette, Dax. Hello, hello. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, I'm going to be moving, yes, today is drinking, so we have our drinks. I'm gonna move some lights around, so give me just a second. <clears throat> We'll see. Yep, that's a lot better. Now you can see us. Hi, Jean. You're so sweet. Hi, Charlotte and Tony and Christine. Yes, we are going to have a drinking game. Every time that we hear the word criminal, we will take a drink. I'm glad I'm not on here because this lighting is not, not very female friendly. <laughs> So it is Friday Fiesta time. That is right, Rob. And we have a lot to celebrate today because today is JJ's 23rd year of having his own CPA firm. So he has uploaded two videos where he, we have went around and looked at his former offices and just kind of the story of how JJ the CPA became JJ the CPA. Thank you, Charlotte. I appreciate that. You're very sweet. Um, so yeah, if you haven't seen those videos, make sure that you go check them out. Also, we have something premiering at 7 p.m. Central Time today. That's exciting. So thank you guys. Yes, a big congrats to JJ. We have Candace and Charlotte and Doug, Cassie, Tony, the other Tony's on. Yes, criminal. Criminal means we have to, mine's way over here. We have to have a drink. What, what all are y'all drinking today? I ran out of coconut rum. That's my go-to and I ran out of it today. So I am, I have vodka and Red Bull. Yes, thank you. The other Tony, big, big congrats to JJ. Big claps to JJ. It is, you just had a jello shot. You know that just, you know, not to sound like I drink all the time, but I've never had a jello shot. I've heard they're really good though, but I've never had one. Look who's in the house. PB is in the house. Yes, we've never met a CPA quite like him. He's obviously getting stage ready for you guys. This is just your before show. Malibu rum and Diet Dr. Pepper. See, I like Malibu coconut rum and Diet Mountain Dew. That's my, uh, that's, I did, ha I had like this much coconut rum, so I did swig that down with the little Diet Mountain Dew earlier. It's so good. And Bahama Mamas. I like Bahama Mamas. Apple Crown and Coke. That sounds good too. I know TNG. I've I've just never been a I've never been anywhere that had Jello shots where people were taking them. So I've never had one. Yes, pineapple juice is good with coconut rum too. Coconut rum is just good with anything. Coconut anything's good. Lemon drop martini, my go-to. That sounds good. Grey goose and cranberry with lime. That is what. JJ is drinking as a, as a Cape Cod, cranberry juice and vodka, gray goose. You have to have gray goose. The other one's 
tend to give me a headache, like Tito's and the other ones. I like Grey Goose. Now that you guys all, you know, know my alcohol, I'm nothing like I used to be. I was pretty, pretty wild in high school, but that's a whole other, <laughs> it's a whole other conversation. Amco transmission here. Hey, hey, Will. All right, TNG, I'm gonna hold that to you. If we're ever nearby, you're gonna make us jello shots. I should try, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but it sounds, it sounds fancy, so I like it. And congratulations, Mojito, signature body shop. And Mojito, those are good too. How many people do we have? We have 54 people on? It's a Brazilian drink. Oh, it sounds good. I do want to go the next time that we can go to Vegas. I don't know if any of you guys have done this, but a friend that I follow did. And they went to the chandelier room at, I think it's Caesar's Palace. There is a drink that it's white and it comes with a flower. And so what you have to do is you have to eat the flower first and then you drink the drink. And the flower kind of like makes your tongue a little, like um, the way that she described it was like you just put a bunch of pop rocks in your mouth. But it's one of those, um, I didn't even know that this was a thing until she told me about this. But these flowers like enhance your taste buds. So everything tastes like 10 times stronger than what it normally does. And then you drink these drinks. And anyways, I want to try that. I've told him the next time we go to Vegas, which we were already supposed to go, Dag Nabbit, but COVID came in because we were supposed to go see Duran Duran and it got canceled. But um, whenever we go back to Vegas, whenever it reopens, I want to go and try those. Vodka gives you a headache. Yeah. I know, we need flower drinks. And then I went and like researched even more, like I haven't obviously bought any, but you can buy them on Amazon. <laughs> I don't know how legit they are. So I'm like, I'm just gonna go to the restaurant place first before I buy something on Amazon that just may or may not be legit. Hello, Daniel. Daniel, the CPA is in the house. Look, I'm at my seven, my seven, almost eight minute mark. I do hear him come. Oh, he looks so handsome. CSR on? CSR is not on. What? <laughs> Kelly Thomas. Hi. TGIF. No, remember he said he may not be on because he had to work in a shop. Uh, my idiots are having friends over for a cookout and I'm cooking. <laughs> well, you need to. What are you cooking? What you cooking, Daniel? Hi from Chi Town. Hi, Anthony. M.A. is in the house. What's up, Nellie? Oh, Tom. Big congratulations to JJ. Yes, thank, thank you, thank you for all your amazing videos. Oh, I finally received my PPP. Congratulations, Tom. Hamburgers. There's nothing better than a hamburger off the grill. Drum roll for JJ. That's right. <laughs> What's up, Clay? Are you ready? Ready. He's ready. He looks very, very dapper. You guys are getting in for a treat. Bye. <laughs> Got the lighting good, huh? Yep. Oh, how is everybody doing today? We are going to have to call CSR. Who do we got on? I, I had to go get changed. I'll just be honest with you. I had to go get changed and I was like, you know what? We've been putting off. We're gonna call him in a few minutes. Oh, we are. We are going to call him. He said he was working. Thank you for joining us today. So good to see everybody. It is dark and gloomy. So we brought in the stage lighting uh, to kind of brighten things up. Uh, thank you for joining us on this Friday. Uh, today we are going to talk about in full, the four, uh, wow, what do we, we said guests for the JJ, the CPA reality show. Uh, so we're gonna be talking about all four. And then we've already got someone lined up for what I'm gonna call season two. 
No. Yeah, because okay. we've got a fifth and we have to work with them, but we've already got our four. But when we go on our tour, we're gonna catch them at the tail end. So who do you think it is? Don't say, but you know who I'm talking about? You know who yeah. I'm talking about. All right, all right. Glenda, hello party people. Fred, greetings, and Brent, and Annette, and Dax, how are you? Everybody, Christine and Tony, Charlotte, love it. Yes, thank goodness. Uh, Jean, how are you? Rob, yes, Friday, fiesta time. And uh, let's see, Samara and Tony, what's up? We had a great call today, Tony, Candace, and Charlotte. Charlotte uh, says you look beautiful. You probably already saw that. And Doug and Cassie and Elizabeth and PB, thank you so much. And uh, Tony Leon, thank you so much. PB, and I saw PB, you said looking dapper today. I really appreciate that. And Elizabeth, uh, thank you so, oh, TNG, we've got John Hamilton, thank you. Uh, happy Friday to you. Um, let's see, oh, and Melissa, thank you so much for that. And John Ray, and uh, let's see, is that another Alyssa? No, a Melissa, sorry, Melissa and Alyssa. And Will, how are you? And Signature Body Shop, and let's see, we got, oh, Annette Benson, CPA, probably has been on before. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, but I like that, Annette Benson. That's another movie star name right there. CPA, thank you so much, congratulations. I'm on 37, and honestly, this was the craziest year yet. I'm trying lemon lime seltzer only, 100 calories. Uh, son is getting married in August. Oh, yes, yes, congratulations to that. My, uh, my daughter just graduated uh, college, so it's almost like there's really only two more big dates, uh, technically, in her life. Maybe three, but you know, getting married, probably opening her own dance studio, and then uh, becoming, a mama. becoming a mama. So that's, that's another big date, not down there uh, for Annette. And Christine, all right, and Daniel, uh, let's see. All right, we had a little jump. Let's see, Braca B, and Nancy, and Anthony, and Richard. Richard Jude, all right, thank you so much, JJ. You're off the charts having uh, my Sambuca and espresso coffee. Uh, the CPA Brooklyn when you're going to be Josh Jelinski. That's right, called uh, with a dental practice in Manhattan a few weeks ago. Thank you so much for being on, I appreciate that. And we are gonna be with uh, Josh Jelinski. We're gonna try and put something together where we could invite people to come and hang with us uh, as well as Justin McAuliffe, CPA. And so that is going to be in July and I'm looking at the date here. Uh, because it'll be on Sunday, uh, July 19th. So we'll be trying to get things released in terms of maybe where we'll be. It'll just be fun to meet people. Uh, and so maybe we could meet you, Richard. That would be awesome. I would love that. And thank you for all your kind words uh, always and also on the, the radio program. I was on Josh Jelinski, the financial quarterback's uh, radio show and talking PPP. I think he had me on three weekends in a row. And... Uh, Richard had called in and was very complimentary, which, I mean, mm -hmm. that's pretty that's pretty wonderful. You have someone that calls in and then sings your praises a little bit. And so anyways, fellow CPA, looking out for fellow CPA. John G, what's going on? And Clay, RT, uh, <laughs> let's get drunk and celebrate JJ. Let's see, Nancy, anything new with the EIDL uh, for a new application? You know, the last I knew, because I've had a few people, I had put a video out there saying, you know, maybe you should just go ahead and apply, even though it's saying agricultural business only, because when you go to apply, it was you would be very clearly indicating that you're not in the agricultural business, so you wouldn't be applying falsely, but maybe it put you in line. And those individuals um, had, there was a couple of individuals that had uh, forwarded me the letters they got from the SBA by email just saying, hey, Thanks for applying. Uh, we're not gonna accept anything other than agricultural right now. So I was like, shucks. You know, I was hoping that maybe that would put them uh, in line. So, oh, Joshua Flores, what's going on? Uh, let's see, uh, Marilyn, uh, Ohio. I love it, I love it, RT. And let's see, yes, RT was the one saying we're getting drunk. Thank you. Uh, and then uh, Marilyn, and let's see, Will. 
and Jared, and oh, with flying colors. Uh, big congrats to my favorite CPA and uncle JJ, the CPA 23, appreciate that. And uh, we found out uh, that uh, with flying colors is gonna be near, we won't reveal where she is, we won't have to even reveal, but we're gonna be in an area where that's near her. And she was watching one of our videos and she's like, what? That's like 15 <laughs> minutes from where I'm at. So we look forward to meeting you and uh, we'll probably, same thing, when we're uh, hitting these spots, we'll at least just put, you know, hey, here's where we'll be for, you know, dinner, join us or something like that. And, you know, there might be one or two people that want to come and say hi, which would be such a, such an honor. Oh, Elizabeth is reminding me. Okay, so uh, I did put a couple of videos out there, more for fun, more for um, maybe future purposes, which I'll talk about here in a little bit for, for my kids, which sounds kind of weird. But, uh, but we are celebrating today, 23 years. You already shared with them. You would have already seen this. All of you wonderful people that are on uh, would have seen that was in the description. We've had a couple of videos that came out today where we were going around town. But today is happy hour. And I have a Cape Cod here fixed by the lovely Amanda. And uh, the word of the day thanks to Elizabeth reminding me, uh, is criminal. And why is it criminal? Because I don't have to keep saying it in videos. <laughs> why? Because question 46 came out. So criminal, let's do a quick cheers. Cheers to everybody. Salute. Social. Uh, for our, our, our good friend Darren, who likes to say social, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so criminal. I said it twice, maybe three times, so I'm gonna take three drinks. They said to say it in the coach's video. And make sure that, or coach's voice, make sure that you're giving a thumbs up if you are here, so that way we can get this video pushed up so more people can come say congratulations to JJ. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, so let's see, Marilyn, my husband is in agricultural and got approved for the EIDL. Um, so I'm glad, and that's quick, so I'm glad for that. Uh, let's see, uh, Neely Soto, happy Friday. Uh, let's see, yes, we are excited too with Flying Colors. And Karen, hi from the wild and wonderful West Virginia. Uh, you know, for whatever reason, OU plays West Virginia. Mm -hmm. The University of Oklahoma plays West Virginia and West Virginia is in the Big 12 conference, yeah. which technically only has, I think, 10 teams now. Right. But we were thankful to have West Virginia join uh, the Big 12 Conference. So mm -hmm. we ha it's the Mountaineers. Mountaineers. I believe that is what it is, the Mountaineers. You would know more than I would. And uh, we ha I have actually seen the Mountaineers play right here in Norman, Oklahoma, I believe. Awesome. Because I remember going, I have some friends that always have a tailgate party and they always have a theme. And the, f and, and, the f and the theme of the food is always something that kind of makes it sound like we're eating that team. <laughs> it kind of sounds weird, doesn't it? So, all right. So anyways, uh, let's see. Happy Friday to Neely. And then, yes, Karen. So, and then Alyssa and Kathy. Love this morning's ethics video. Thank you so much for that. I, and I really appreciate you all watching. You know, some of these video series, uh, I think, you know, I was telling Amanda this is, um, you know, I'm not just doing all of these. Really, I'm doing all of these videos to be helpful. And the videos that I'm putting together is things that I've talked to clients about or it's something that's natural in how I talk about things related to business, Group 300 being one of it. You know, I've always kind of had a, a, a bravado approach. Not, it doesn't resonate with everybody, um, but at the end of the day, what I'm trying to do with Group 300 is there's just, I feel like a, a small group of us, me included, that we don't have a boardroom, right? We don't have a big number of employees. Um, we may have a lot of clients that we're working with and a busy business, um, but you know, we kind of have to band together a little bit. And you know, I think we're all excited in anticipation as we're opening or we will be opening. Um, but at the same time, it can be easy to get discouraged. It can be easy to get overwhelmed. Um, I know personally I've been overwhelmed. And I think part of it is I've, I've made it overwhelming for myself because I really wasn't anticipating all of this. And so I'm, 
I'm, there's no way I'm going to give up putting energy towards <laughs> this. So it's finding the balance uh, with it. And uh, I had talked Which about balance. Did an amazing job with. Ah, well, thank you. Um, but anyways, uh, you know, getting overwhelmed with like, wow, okay, so when I'm back all the way and I'm working in the office um, and, you know, it's like, well, I just need to probably be a little more diligent, a little more disciplined. Um, but then, you know, I don't really have anybody holding me accountable other than right up here. And like a lot of you, um, whether you're um, a business owner, part business owner, uh, maybe you have the kind of position where you're a self-starter, things are more reliant on you. Um, and sometimes it's even worse if you're part of a team in, in the sense of staying motivated because if someone on your team's not motivated, then kind of dragging it down, does that, help, does that kind of help drag you down? So not to be a damper, it's just that group 300 for anything, it's motivating for me to think about, well, what, what would be coming up this week for me, for, me, for my clients, that'd be worth talking to. And then this uh, series I have by the numbers um, is really for people like, kind of like my daughter, really. I've kind of unofficially built this series uh, thinking of her, which is, you know, she's artistic. Uh, I don't know what kind of, what side of the brain does good with numbers, do you? Think it's left brain thinker, think right brain thinker? Think, uh, think left brain is creative, right brain is the thinker. Okay, so, you know, she's, uh, very smart and intelligent and is good at really whatever she does and I and I mean that genuinely but for somebody that's going to start a business like her someday you know how do you translate what you're doing in an artistic format or creative format or just even as a business owner trying to whether it's food or construction or whatever your services are um, you know how do you translate numbers that would make sense to somebody that's not gonna see two plus two as a number right. plus a number, they see it as TWO plus TWO. Right. Anyways, so kind of a series there. And the only reason I say that is that these series, they're not getting a ton of attention, but I, I just, the ones that are watching that are, they're our family. Mm -hmm. They're that's our right. family here. And so I know very specifically, we've gotten to where we're just not able to keep up with comments on the videos that are more technically related, uh, which I kind of just took a, a little bit of a break from this week. Um, but there's just no way to really keep up with all those comments. Um, we try, but I mean, there's times that you and I will sit for two and a half or three hours and it's like, it's just never ending, which is wonderful and we appreciate. But on those videos, um, I love, uh, I look forward to when that video goes out. because so it's like, oh, with flying colors, is gonna probably say something or, Coach's Barbecue or uh, Z Robert 66. And uh, so anyways, I really appreciate you all watching all, uh, all of that. I see Aqua Monkey probably wasn't saying thank you to me because I bet someone helped Aqua Monkey. But hey, I'm glad that you are on. And uh, let's see, Daniel uh, New Church, did you receive? Oh, they're probably talking about. Uh, and Kevin Butler, uh, thank you, thank you. And Dan, Dan said, Dan was like, you know what? Need to get rid of the pie charts. Pie charts might be a little 70s. <laughs> now, he didn't say 70s. He didn't say that in his comment. But he's like, hey, I'm one of your biggest fans, which that's an honor for someone to say. Um, but he was like, you know, you need to use the line in the bar charts. And so, you know, I, I do things in the uh, insurance industry. Uh, and uh, hey, we got C, okay, C Fulford 66. How are you doing? But anyways, um, Dan was saying about the pie charts, and I'll be honest with you, so when I was putting that together, I had numbers from an Excel spreadsheet, and I had put together, you know, because it's super easy, you just highlight it, and it's like, what's a pie chart look like? What's a line graph, you know, look like, and a bar graph look like? And I was like, well, you know, for this, it kind of needs to buy the pie chart. Mm -hmm. But honestly, uh, back in the day, before I had a computer, and if people put together some kind of pie chart, I was always so impressed with it. So it's kind of a little nostalgic. Uh, but anyways, I love the comment and I was like, yeah, you're right, next time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I do know this though, I'll just say, Dan, when in the episode you're gonna see it in, no, no, it's in the next episode. But anyways, the uh, It's Pedal Time, which is gonna release tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's episode two of JJ the CPA Reality Show. This one's got a little more bump to it. Okay, but in the second episode of It's Pedal Time, we have pie charts again. Well, Kelly, Kelly Thomas is on and she's 
she said she likes Pike. I love Pike. Yeah, but, uh, and, and, and I, I love Dan's comment. But uh, we want to uh, talk about the four companies. And everybody knows the one. Uh, let's see, Rob likes, the, he likes pie. Mm -hmm. You know, pie is just like, like I said, it's, it's uh, a classic. It's a classic. It is. But I, yeah, I interrupted myself. In the insurance industry, you see a lot of the, the graphs because it's compared to the market or, you know, bar charts and things like that. And so that might only be the 10th time I've done some kind of graphic like that. So I was actually pretty pleased that somehow it worked out that Excel did it for me. So Cindy's on. Okay. So, oh, Cindy is on. All right. I love it. I love it. So Cindy and Rob, stay stay on here and then uh and i know you will let's see Alyssa and and are kelly how are you, are you calling card shop? yeah so let's uh oh gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh it's already 4 25. we're gonna call card shop in a minute okay. okay and uh we can call from i guess we'll call from that one but we all know so i'm just i'm gonna for those that are on here that don't know which is probably not impossible because we just have our hardcore people on today. Yeah, we have okay. our true troopers on today. Monday, we had almost 600 people on. At Mondays are our best day. Any given time. And uh, when we got done, there was, it literally said over 10,000 people during that show had popped in for, um, it's called a playback. And playbacks are that they had popped in and had reviewed it for... Yeah. Um, I guess there's a specific number of times. Anyways. Annette would like you to say criminal real quick. Okay. Who? Annette. Annette. Criminal. Yeah. Boom. Here we go. Let's go. Criminal is our word of the day for those of you that are just joining us. And why is it criminal? Because I don't have to keep saying it. Right? And, and for some reason, when I say criminal, it just brings out hate in people. Because they're like, why are you saying that word? Hello, hello, Trish. No, you have not missed out on much besides just saying congratulations to JJ for 23 years. And he's about to drop some, <laughs> some big stuff down. Three, love... two, one. Bam. You said you wanted to talk about your stuff. We are. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Keeping me on track. I'm keeping you on track. All right. We've got stuff to do. Uh, let's see. But I just am saying here. Uh, we got Trish and Alyssa, number 46, TNG. Alyssa says, because we're family, I love it. And Sandra, thank you so much for that. And thanks for joining in. Okay, so we know that we've got Backyard Barbecue. But what you don't know is that we're going to be there Tuesday the 14th. We do have to update the website. We had to change a plan uh, when we were going to go there because of uh, the state of Washington extended the stay-at-home deal whatever that's called. But Stephen and Vernita, uh, if you missed it, uh, Wednesday uh, we premiered the breakthrough or kickoff number one episode of JJ the CPA, It's Barbecue Time reality show. And so we'll have 10 episodes with Stephen and Vernita. They're out of Kettle Falls, Washington. Uh, they are in basically three years. And so for them to be where they're at in three years, which is they have a, a classic barbecue joint um, that they have the potential to expand a little bit because they have an area that can be serving as a bar and maybe a music venue. They've done a ton in the catering and this is where we're gonna have some good positive drama. Drama as in like good, like, oh wow, what's gonna happen next on this related to their catering because we've been making some decisions related to that that I think are uh, exciting, a little bit of stress involved in making any kind of decision, but uh, they really see a lot of potential more than they already have uh, with that catering business because of their reputation. People come from Canada uh, to have their barbecue because of where they're situated uh, in uh, Eastern Washington state. Um, but anyways, they also have a, a food truck. So they've been doing a lot of fairs, uh, but of course with COVID they had one uh, catering event cancel after another because people are canceling their own events, of course. So if a wedding cancels or an event or an association meeting or an annual meeting or whatever the case is, I mean, those were those are getting canceled now all the way up until August. So they were just losing catering job after catering job, having the restaurant closed. Of course, then fairs were saying, hey, we're not going to do the fair this year in various locations. And so um, 
a little bit of drama involved with, with that just because everywhere they turned, they were shut down like so many of us. And there was some, there's drama related to their PPP. We'll have to see what happens. But anyway, so Backyard Barbecue. And then uh, tonight at 7 p.m., Central Daylight Time. Uh, whoever sent that email really stuck with me that it's CDT. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was CST for 48 years of my existence. Well, that's good. And then when I reevaluated, it's like, well, I guess because we do daylight saving time. Right. But anyways, um, criminal. And we are going to call card shop reality because I don't care that he's working. He had been asking me to wear braces. I'm wearing these in honor of 23 years of practice. But the thing I want you to know is that these are braces because they button in, okay? They button in, they, they latch in. They're not a clip, okay? If it was a clip, those are suspenders. And it was Harvey E. Warren the second that uh, clarified to me when I showed up trying to dress like him uh, and I was wearing suspenders and he said, hey, come in here. And he said, let me tell you, quick secret, I love that you have those on, but uh, you have suspenders on and these are braces. And he stood up and he did the same thing. He showed me the difference and he's like, so go back to wherever you got those and uh, exchange them and get yourself some braces. And he told me about the buttons and everything. So anyways, in honor of that and CSR has been waiting. Are we calling him? He has been waiting. Yeah, are we going to prank him first? Sure. Okay. How are we going to prank him? I guess we're going to has to speak with the manager. Well, maybe. Is it not? Okay, we're calling CSR. We know his real name, but we're well, secret says, identity. I'll give you the phone after I okay. ask to talk. So CSR is on every day. He had told us that he had something going on today. I totally forgot about that. So in the meantime, criminal. And uh, tonight, as soon as we're done talking with CSR, we're going to talk about the reality episode coming out tonight. Then we're going to talk about three and four. The number's not working? You, it, won't even, it won't do nothing. Oh, let me have it. So here's the deal. The big news, you probably all know it, is question 46. I probably basically went on vacation uh, because once that came out, I was just like, whew. I had put so much energy uh, into it that it was just like, ha, ah, and that's why we have the word of the day, criminal. Okay, here we go. What are you going to do? I was going to do it. Card shop is run. Uh, yeah, I got some Hello Kitty cards there, and I think they're fraudulent. I was going to see if I could talk to the manager. Fraudulent? Yeah, the Hello Kitty cards I received, I, I don't think they're legitimate. I think they're fraudulent. Uh, the only cards we've sell were from the packs. Well, um, I'm watching JJ the CPA right now, and he told me that he got some cards from you, and then I was looking at mine, and they're clearly fraudulent. <laughs> no. You have to hop on. We're live, and I'm wearing braces. You have to hop on for one minute. Are you able to hop on? So what? They, they can join in. I'm wearing braces for you. All right, well, join in in the next 30 minutes if you can. Even okay, for like man. one minute. You have to, you have to just see. I, I wore them in your honor. All right, man. All right, thank you. Appreciate you. <laughs> wow, he, he took that for real. He did take that. He's like, well, uh, we only sell them by the packs. So <laughs> he had sent us some uh, Hello Kitty cards and some Superman cards, some baseball cards. Uh, as well as his t-shirts. And uh, so anyways, he's working. He said he had a house full of people. He must be having some kind of a, maybe a, an opening. Maybe an open, open yeah, maybe some something. kind of an opening. Yeah, which yeah. is exciting. Curbside service for the, for card shop reality. Yeah. So I haven't seen coaches on. No. So alert me if coaches is able to get on. You know what it is? I think there's a bunch of places that are opening up, including here. People yeah. are out. Yeah, people are people out. People are out. Yeah, because we don't we don't, we don't have we don't have coaches, we don't have backyard barbecue, we don't have God's dozer, you know, some of our But you know who we have is Annette and Alyssa and Clay and Sandra and T N G. Right? We got Trish, Anthony, who else? We got Tony and Tony and Alan and John and Glenda. Now, so tonight I'm gonna go ahead and tell them. I'm going to go ahead and tell everybody, okay? 
Uh, let's see. I got a question on the PPP. Okay, so tonight, I'm very excited about this, and uh, I'm excited for the episode. You know, the first one was a little CPA-ish. Um, and I don't say, I'm not gonna even say that bad thing because I put it together with you and you spent like four hours. But it was a lot of learning going on and it needs to be a little more Kardashian. Don't you think? No, like for, had, like you real. Had this conversation here. Well, I know. But no, I'm just saying like, yes. Yeah, so I, I'm in agreement with you. <laughs> That's what I mean. I love it. So if we're going to be a little more Kardashian, then we got to be a little more Californian. And that's why we've got It's Pedal Time, 7 p.m. CDT tonight. So with us, we have Cindy, one of the owners, the driving force, the half of the driving force. Uh, the other owner is Michelle. And uh, I will tell you this right now. Um, and Cindy should still be on. She uh, is on most of the time. And we do have an email. Uh, from Cindy. She had a question. We'll see if it's something that we will answer. Uh, but from the perspective of this group, this business, okay, we had already come up with the three mm -hmm. and they had put in, for lack of a better word, this application. They put in a bunch of information. It came in under the wire. ADP, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Put it in under the wire on time, uh, which means like within a few days, and you brought it to me, and, we, and I won't spoil it all the way because they'll need to watch tonight, but it was like, okay, uh, if they do this, we're gonna, we're gonna bring them on. We're gonna do it. We're gonna work with them. Anyway, so they did, and you'll get to see part of it in the video. You'll get to see part of the video that they put together. So what are they? They are Pedal Spin Studio. So of course, spin classes. They also do, they have Pilates. Um, they have a bunch of other things at one location, but what are they known for? What's their niche? What's their reputation? What's their brand? Uh, it's the spin classes, right? Um, we, how often do we go to spin classes? How often? I can't remember. Um, I, I want to say the answer is zero. Oh, zero. Yeah, zero. it's hard work. But I, I, did, I did spin a bike though when I was a little girl. And I could go really fast on that bike. Yeah. It, was, it had teddy bears on it and streamers. Nice. Like, I could go really fast. Yeah, nice. I was probably 15. You know what I've heard is that... <laughs> 15? Nuh-uh. -uh. And you had all that on it? Yeah. I was rocking it. At 15? At 15. I don't believe you. Yeah. 10. I had a basket, too. 10. Well, 15. I mean, I had it wasn't that long ago. I you should remember these things. Go. Uh huh. Yeah, <laughs> understood. But I've heard that um, to get off side, I'm not going to get too sidetracked, but I have heard that people are using, they, they do that for a date night around here. Yeah. I don't know about in California. Well, but that's, maybe that's Oklahoma. That's how, the, that's how we exercise around here. Like, well, I guess well, we'll turn it into sound, date night. That, don't get any ideas because that doesn't sound Thank very you. romantic to me. Yeah, it, 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 it does not. PB, bust out laughing, Kardashian boom. Carol, how are you? Happy Friday. And uh, Glenda, and I can way, spin a tail. <laughs> by the way, um, Glenda is on and she has her adorable granddaughter Leah on uh, with her as well. Again, love and it. And Leah had her birthday party last night. So happy, happy birthday, Leah. <laughs> Happy birthday. I love it. I love it. John Hamilton, boom. Alyssa, what? Not in the Berg? Berg. What's that? What is that? I'm, I'm, I'm old. It's probably... You are not old. Yeah. Alyssa's probably like hip and is like using some jargon that I'm not aware of. Are you saying I'm not hip? Uh, Y'all hear that, people? I did not. <laughs> I will tell you this, look at this, card shop reality. I even made a note here and left it on this desk so that when we started, and I'm not kidding you, at two minutes to four, I was like, oh shoot, I gotta go put braces on. And then- uh, It's Berg. Oh, Berg, got it. Berg. The Berg. I'll tell you who's from Berg, Rob. No, Pennsylvania, Never mind. that's not. The I went to public but, school. But, but I went to public Pittsburgh school. Pittsburgh is in Pennsylvania, so you're on the same track. Pittsburgh's in Pennsylvania. That's right. Do you just are you just saying that because they both start with P? No, it's Philadelphia Pittsburgh. and Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. and then Pennsylvania, 
or uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania? Just because they're peas, you're thinking they're in Pittsburgh? I think I lived there for a couple of Oh, years. you did? That's and right. I, yeah, and my son has surgery in Pittsburgh. So. Okay. All right. Yeah, you know these things. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. So 35 miles away from Pittsburgh in Greensburg. I love it. Jen, thank you so much. Uh, Glenda, now we're going to remember that. Are we flying into Berg? No. Why would we be flying into Berg? Because no, we're, we're going to go see Rob but we in do Wichita. Need to sometime because we have a lot of people that are, are in Pennsylvania and um, just for. Example, we got Rob that's 35 oh. miles away from Pittsburgh and no. Greensburg. No, he used to be. That's why I was getting confused. He oh. used to be. Well, Rob then we used got to be. C. Fulford, who's yeah, in 66. Hills, Pennsylvania. Love it. And I, Alyssa? I lived in Dubois, Pennsylvania, which is a couple uh, hours uh, north of Pittsburgh. Is but, it? How I do actually, you pronounce it? What? What's the name of the city? Dubois. Is that how you pronounce it? Mm hmm. Is that, is that how she, did she pronounce it? C, C row. Thank yes. you, Anthony. Anthony says he's got to log off early. Congrats to you, Jay. Oh, Jay, thank you, Anthony. Anthony. Yeah, I appreciate you. Oh Have a great God, weekend. I've been to Clearfield, Pennsylvania. It's beautiful up there. Oh, my God. And Paul grew up, yeah. in, Paul grew up in, in the Berg. But we, we have, Paul grew up in the I'm Berg. I'm pointing saying all that. We have a lot of people in Pennsylvania, including Surgeon. We would really like to go to the Sergeant Headquarters, who JJ is a national speaker with, and meet them. So Absolutely. I anyway. love it. So Karen, Wichita, yikes, that's where I started my career, and I had a run with the BTK Paul's Thirsty. killer my first weekend there, run in with the BTK. Paul's Thirsty. BTK. Must be something Kansas. Burger King? No. <laughs> <laughs> Paul. Is thirsty? He's thirsty. Criminal. 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 All right, so, mm -mm. BTK it has to be like Secret Service Kansas. BTK. I've heard of BTK. B BTK killer. BTK. All right, uh, look at it. look at all of us uh, burgers. Yeah, I love it. The blonde, the, the vine tortures kill serial killer. What? Goodness. What? She oh had my a gosh. Run in with him. Oh my gosh. She survived. Okay, so that's a uh, that's a Netflix series right there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, so Karen survived. We got John 66. Oh my gosh. All right, Rob. Uh, okay, yeah. Let's All right. We're moving on because that stuff freaks me out. Mm -hmm. Like freaks me out. And I want to have dreams about it tonight. Jim, it says, congrats, brother. Haven't been able to get on because of work, but wanted to pop in and congratulate uh, you. Thank Jim, you so Jim much. Jim it up. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Hey, uh, if you have a, a Coke or something, uh, criminal, that's our word of the day. And the reason we're saying criminal is that I don't have to keep using that word anymore in videos. Mm -hmm. I don't have to keep talking about criminal act and are staring you, people down. Are you still talking about reality show? Mm -hmm. or okay. So tonight, 7 p.m. CDT, uh, gym it up. You got to check it out tonight. And then Wednesday night, we had uh, episode one. And we've done a good job. We're trying to keep them to 20 minutes, and we've done it. Well, Two hey, episodes. Guys, guys, do you believe that? I know. So, anyways, Pedal Spin Studio, we're going to be out there Sunday, July 12th, um, which means that we're going to also see Coach's Barbecue uh, probably on Sunday, July 12th. Yep. Uh, we'll get everybody together, maybe Cindy and the crew, and there's some others that have told us they're in the area. But they have five locations in California, IA. Cindy and Michelle took it from one, and then Cindy's daughter, Brooke, has been a superstar on all of this and they have five locations as I said but they have one that's in uh, all the way down here in Palm Springs and then they have one up here in La Canada uh, but they call it La Canada which that's you're they're pronouncing it incorrectly you don't call it La Canada you call it La Canada <laughs> La Canada I'm just kidding they call it they call it La Canada Sounds I, like I, a drink. I'm shocked that I even know how to so pronounce it, it, to be honest with I'm you. I'm proud of you. But I'll tell you this, in, in North East Oklahoma, uh, they have Miami, but it's spelled like Miami. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so tonight we're going to be seeing that, but um, you'll know it at the end, uh, but they've got some really cool videos 
and um, you will see. So Cindy and I, we did a lot of work. Brooke sat in. Brooke's like not even 20. Mm -hmm. And she sat in on these meetings and is listening and just taking it in. She wants to own 50 of the uh, Pedal Spin Studios. And so, will. yeah, and, and the thing is, when you've got five locations, that's amazing. Uh, I put it in the description here. Uh, you can go to the websites CSR. and Facebook. CSR, how are you? He says, Good to Dan, see you. He says, damn you, Jacob, oh. you got me Inferno style. Oh, yeah. That's what we should have said was, was Inferno. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes. Inferno. <laughs> so CSR has a house full of people. Probably means that he's super busy. He was at work. But uh, CSR, I had this. Can you see it? I had this note on my desk and it yeah, was like fit. two minutes to four o'clock when we were gonna go on. I was like, shoot, I can't not do this. Yeah. <laughs> and then as soon as I came around the corner, I was like, oh, CSR already said he's probably not gonna get on. And yeah. I was like, all right, that's it. We're so calling it. before I even sat down, I was like, I looked it up and I was like, okay, we're just gonna call him. And then you had the great idea of uh, maybe we do a little Pranking. pranking. So God, I can't believe we didn't think of the Inferno part though. If y'all don't know what we're talking about, which bet all of you do, because we've got our 93 core crew with us. You know, Monday we were up to almost 600. I know. Which is unbelievable, unbelievable. But uh, uh, what was I talking about? I was talking about CSR. Inferno. Inferno. But y'all have to check out the video. It was last week there was a radio station uh, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, their number one rock and roll radio station, but they have where they call and they have an interview with somebody that they pre-lined up, of course, but it's a sports channel and it was a sports interview. And so I had gotten all ready to go to have a sports talk CPA business interview on with them. And uh, anyways, it ended up being a, a, a whole prank. And so I've got several videos on that. Card shop reality. Check email. I just oh, sent koozie right, uh, at shop right picture. Boom. Go I'm ahead. glad that you got a full house of people. So CSR. Oh, I love if, it. With you in the background flashing your shirt. Oh, uh, <laughs> look at this. And he's totally in. Look at this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show the picture because he's totally in disguise. Yeah. Look at it. He's totally <laughs> in disguise. That is awesome. That is awesome. Hey, thank you for jumping on CSR. We know you're busy and I'm glad that you are. Uh, and so I'm assuming maybe this is, could be an opening day or a special event. So um, I, I, I do really appreciate though how he was, he took very serious my um, Hello Kitty uh, inquiry. All right, we'll see you next week. Thanks for jumping on CSR. Bye, CSR. All right, all right. One day he's gonna get us back and he'll get us big time. Yeah, yeah no, he's, he is like one of those clever, smart, outsmart you yeah. type of person. He's just the salt of the earth. Aw, look what else we got. This is Leah. Aw, are we able sense. to show it? We, we may not be able to show it. Yeah, it might have just been for us. We'll might have just been Linda for us. Says. Yes. She's beautiful. Aww, that is precious. <laughs> she said yes. We, you know that you know that this is turning into family. Yeah. <laughs> Never. When when we're showing when we're showing pictures, how clear is that? Everybody say happy how clear birthday, is that? Leah. Is it clear? It is clear. All right, Aww. Leah. Happy birthday! Look at this. I'm loving it. She's a beautiful princess. Yeah, she is. So she let's see. She, she turned five. She has all her teeth. Look at those beautiful teeth, by the way. Wonderful smile. That is a tr that is a true. That is a true princess a true right there. Princess. Oh my gosh, brings back memories for you too, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. All right, so our we've talked about our first two businesses. Uh, let's see, criminal. Let's, criminal. let's do this before we go. And uh, Leah is probably wondering why we're saying criminal. Maybe we're I'll say, a fun maybe I'll say, fun I'll say, I'll say, day. I'll say, I'll say criminal. I saw criminal. That way, when Leah goes home, she doesn't start saying to her parents, <laughs> criminal, criminal, we were watching criminal. CPA we were watching this grandma. CPA and they were doing a drinking game to <laughs> criminal. Uh, criminal. We'll go with criminal. Keep everybody on the uh, 
rated G version here. So oh, that's so funny because Alan just said rated G. <laughs> <laughs> Any news on Stimulus 2.0, I will tell you this, uh, the Heroes Act, I've done a couple of uh, interviews on this and I'm, I, you know what, let's talk about the Heroes Act. But first we're gonna talk about DreamWorks Performing Arts Center and Wellness, DPAC. And uh, this is a fabulous group that's gonna be on the reality show. And uh, this is a real special story here. And why? Because my daughter's a dancer. Um, she just graduated last week with her degree in uh, um, dance management. And uh, she was planning to go to the Performing Arts Center of the World in uh, Denver, and then COVID hit. Um, so she was gonna kind of go there for a year, get on with, a, with a, um, a company and work there in the dance world. And she's always wanted to have her own dance studio, which she will, but wanted to get some onstage uh, experience with her style of dance, which is jazz and contemporary. So Chloe being a dancer, Chloe being in that for since she was three, so that'd be over 20 years because she's now 23 years old. Um, but anyways, when um, Heather had reached out to me and uh, Heather is Amanda's partner, uh, they have this beautiful, beautiful dance studio and uh, DreamWorks Performing Arts Center and Wellness, DPAC, and it's in Massachusetts. Uh, they're in their seventh year. They were for six years in one location and uh, they had just moved into a beautiful new location in February. And then boom, here comes COVID in March. So they have um, some, some, you know, when I say drama, just like holy smokes, drama, not drama like cattiness and, and Kardashian, I'll put it that way, drama. Not, that's gonna be our word next week, Kardashian. Kardashian, there you go. <laughs> That'll be the drinking word next Friday. I love it. But anyways, they're in their seventh year. They had moved into a new space. They, um, I, I went to their Facebook page and watched a couple of their videos. I've got a link in the body of this. Um, and uh, we're gonna see them on Friday, July 17th. And we will actually be flying into Boston, driving to them. And then after we see them, we're driving through Connecticut down to New York City to see Josh and Justin and Richard and a few other people, Sean, we're gonna see Sean. Uh, but anyways, that is where we have a crux because here you have a successful business, clearly they're growing. They move in a larger space, newer space. Uh, they saved up, they were expand, not expanding, like uh, you know, repainting it and, and doing some uh, additions to it. And then COVID happened. Uh, so what I'm doing is helping them with the numbers. And I'll tell you this, Heather and Amanda make a fabulous team. Amanda is the, you know, she's the dancer. She is the performer. She is the artist. Uh, and she's been doing this um, as long, or started when, when Chloe had started. I mean, they both started at age three. I don't know how old Amanda is, um, so I don't know how long she's been doing it, but obviously she's a professional at it. Uh, if she's had her own business now seven years, um, she's been doing this long enough that she knows what she's doing. So part of what I like about these businesses that we're gonna be working with is that they're established, they're, they're successful, and they really probably wouldn't need true input uh, from an outside source if it wasn't for COVID. I think while they, why they are welcoming uh, an independent voice a little bit is that that's kind of the true sign of a business owner that's been in business long enough to go, you know what, I don't know everything. Um, and I would like some extra uh, guidance here. or I would like some additional ideas here. And, you know, with all of these, I'm not moving in a direction at all to become their CPA. Uh, this isn't meant to be a long-term thing. Although I'll tell you this, it's like we're building up friendships, which each and every one of these um, and I believe everybody, uh, at least three of the four, I've already been in touch with them twice and one of them three times. And each time it's been two to three hours going through their info and, uh, and, and it's really been a treat. So 
we look forward to meeting uh, Amanda and Heather, these two beautiful individuals, um, beautiful souls. And uh, I think that, that it was the way that Heather reached out to me and kind of what she had put in, the, in her email, which will just be private, but it was so moving. Um, it was so, um, just the way that she described their studio, the way that she um, held Amanda in such high esteem and, and talking about um, uh, Amanda's talent and, uh, and, then, and then Heather's talent. I loved it, you know, so they, they have a real team uh, approach to that, uh, to that business. And then in, you know, Massachusetts, they're still under, you know, stay in shelter uh, provisions. So with that, this has nothing to do with them, but we look forward to seeing them, but we're gonna just say criminal, criminal here. Everybody have a, a quick drink uh, because today we're celebrating 23 years of JJ, the CPA. Thank you for joining us on this Friday for those that have. Uh, and that's right, Alyssa is like, hey, let's go, criminal. I like it. Oh, I meant to say criminal. We're saying criminal for Leah's sake, right? It's Leah's five and is checking out little JJ CPA. Look, I did this. Please watch the Scooby-Doo Columbia said. Okay, see, I'm doing the, this is what Darren does. Darren's a friend of ours. He's in a band, and whenever he's telling the crowd, hey, let's have a drink, he always goes, social, and it's kind of a joke because he puts his pinky up because he's like doing it all. Mmm. Oh, sweet. Did we have, all right, we got a troll on? <laughs> yeah, you know, so a good friend of mine, and I only say because he's a good friend because it makes me sound big time by saying that. But I would still consider him a good friend. But John, who I hope to meet when we go down to Florida, otherwise known as CPA Strength, is um, uh, the most famous CPA on YouTube. He has over 150,000 followers. And uh, CPA Strength like works out. He's buff. I think I'm going to have to work out, though, if we're going to meet him in July. But anyways, I'm gonna try and meet up with him. But what he told me early on, and this is probably like, this is a year ago. This is a year and a half. Anyways, he said, JJ, here's the deal. Know this, when you start having trolls, you know you made it. When you go live and you have people and they wanna come on and do stuff, when you have people that they're clearly watching your videos. Like we had one, I, 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 I did a few response to him because I wanted to make sure they saw the responses. And then I was like, well, the next time I see him, I'll just go ahead and, and, and block him. But it was almost like, wow, I mean, like, I'm really providing a lot of entertainment to this individual. Like, they're clearly watching my videos, but then they're like, just like, must be really enjoying themselves making some, you know, kind of snide, uh, you know, comment, which I don't understand that. I don't, it doesn't make, it doesn't really compute with me. I know. Um, if I didn't like watching something or I saw, I, I didn't, I didn't like the content or whatever, I just wouldn't watch it. But that's just me. I don't know. That's probably everybody here. And what I love is there's been a few of them. Um, I mean, God's dozer. And, and these are just, you know, people just being snarky and probably a little bit because they're frustrated with their own circumstances with PPP and being closed and all that. <laughs> but anyways, God dozer was like, why are you even leaving a comment like this? Why don't you just move on? And then I think three others uh, came in and said the same thing. So... Let's see, oh, we got Huey, uh, let's see, oh my gosh, I gotta put my glasses on. How do you pronounce this one? Huey uh, Perm. Uh, but anyways, from New Orleans, uh, let's see, uh, raising my quarantini. Quarantini, Cindy says. Cindy said that you can do some spinning there whenever you go. Oh, well, we'll have to, we'll have to, but, um, we're gonna need to bring a change of clothes because I'll get sweaty like really fast. Mm -hmm. But we do have to do that actually. Yeah, we're gonna have to, everywhere we go. And that, does that mean I have to dance? Is Amanda yeah. gonna show me a few dance moves? I can break dance. I know you can. I can. I I'm gonna show you a quick move. Look at that, did you see that? Yeah, Look, it's gonna play. Look at, see, look at this. Did you play? Did you do it? Did Boom. it do the wave? Boom. Okay, so, uh, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Cindy would bring that up, mm -hmm. that we need to do some spinning. But we will, we have to. Uh, Adam McKnight, thank you so much for coming on. And uh, let's see, Alyssa Quarantini. Ah, we need to come up with that for next row. Yeah, we need to make next it Next week, quarantine. quarantine. 
What would that be, Alyssa? What do you think we should make that? Alyssa? Uh, There's actually a couple of recipes out there. For no, it's a, whatever Alyssa says is going to be the recipe. Okay. So we'll see what Alyssa comes up with. My bad. And, uh, and, uh, and then we'll, we'll do that next Friday. The quarantine. I love it. And um, Cindy, you know, usually when you go somewhere, we're gonna have the we're gonna have California quarantini, and then uh, is Alyssa from Berg? Yeah, I think Alyssa. Then we're gonna have the Berg quarantine. Quarantini. So, Cindy, you have to tell us what your what your quarantini is, um, and and then I don't I tell. I said something about Cindy and her rankings of airports didn't i mm -hmm. is yeah, it in the it's, it. it's in the video mm -hmm. or did i just tell you that i don't remember but cindy has a way to rank airports i think you and i just recorded that video but i don't think it made it okay so. well cindy has a way of ranking airports yeah. and it's the distance of the bar from the um from the gate yeah so the closer they are the better the airport i love it and uh, so anyways because there's like five airports we can fly in to go see them, but we're coming into Burbank. Uh, we didn't want to go into LAX. Thought it might be a little too dangerous. <laughs> yeah, so, so they're, they're not opening. So has Alyssa let us know? No. Okay, so real quick though, let's real quick, let's see. Uh, yes, Cream Production says Chase didn't give me PPP, but my buddy referred me to the Bank of Idaho, who's still giving out PPP, and he got his approved within three hours. Wow. Oh, awesome. Well, hopefully they get the get the dollars. So Pam saying, so I talked with an attorney and he confirmed, JJ, businesses who receive PPP can pay employees less than they got in Q1, and those employees can get partial uh, unemployment, including the full 600. Hmm, interesting. Um, yeah, it'll just, you know, it's going to come down to the bank on that. Um, they'll probably have to, I would assume there'd have to be some reasoning you know, for that, um, just from a standpoint of PPP is there to just pay whatever they were paying. Um, I think my concern would be in, in a general sense that if you're paying them less than they're getting unemployment, are they overall benefiting more? But uh, they, you, there must be some special circumstances. Uh, and then that PUA is really varying state to state. So I, I, if you'll let us know what state you're in, TNG, uh, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful all weekend. All right, yes, have a great weekend, TNG. Because um, I was just talking with uh, Nevada. Uh, I'm sorry, I was talking, or I was messaging with somebody from Nevada, and they indicated that PUA and PPP for the self-employed don't um, they don't uh, offset each other unless it's over six hundred dollars a week in total. So in Nevada, it is you take your PUA. Right, which is 600 a week, you take your PPP divided by eight weeks, and if it's less than 600, okay, then you get PUA. Hmm. Okay, it's interesting. So I know there's other states that don't, they don't, they don't even ask about PPP. So it is, uh, it is interesting on that. Let's see. Um, Alyssa wants you to know that her quarantini is a Cape Codatini in honor of JJ's 23 years. What is it? It's a Cape Cod. Oh, yeah. I'm loving that. Yeah. Okay, I'm loving that. So we're having um, Berg mm -hmm. Quarantinis, mm -hmm. right? Which is, uh, JJ's yeah, which I appreciate, which is, um, let's see. Uh, uh, Paul is parched. Paul is parched. Criminal. Criminal. Mm. Welcome Thank back. Thank you so much. CSR. He had to walk back over just to say I hi. love it. I love it. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Thank you for the picture of the koozie. Thank you for the Hello Kitty. Oh, and by the way, they're not. Um, they're not. They're not uh, counterfeit. Yeah, they're not. Fraudulent. They're not. They're not fraudulent. That wouldn't even be really the way to explain that. You'd no. say counterfeit. <laughs> right. Fraudulent. Right. But anyways, I love. He was very uh, polite about it. Mm -hmm. He was very polite about it. He was probably like, "What in the world is yeah. somebody talking about?" <laughs> Hello Kitty card. <laughs> yeah, just sell them from the pack. We don't know what you want. What you, what you, what you want. Okay, so here is the fourth guest on the reality show. Woohoo! Okay, and I'm very excited about this. Okay, because where did my, where's my superheroes? Oh, I put them in the box. 
You bought the ones that I bought you. Yeah, they're they're, they're 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 in the box. Hold so that you, thought. Are you telling me something? Yeah, will you go grab them? <laughs> no, I was I got them set to go back to uh, the office, but this next company I will hold dear, near and dear to my heart. Uh, because one of my greatest memories uh, with my grandfather, um, and he was the only family member besides my mom that I knew growing up. And uh, he kind of kept the secret where I was. And uh, we didn't have money growing up, uh, probably like a lot of us, potentially. Uh, but anyways, I remember uh, going to the toy store with my granddad. And the reason it was so special was, first of all, he only came up and saw us once a year, for three days, um, but we would go to Toys R Us, which doesn't even have any brick and mortar stores anymore, but we'd go to Toys R Us, and my granddad would say, you can buy whatever you want, you, can, you just buy one thing, but you can buy whatever you want. Like, there wasn't, a, there wasn't a price on it. So, me and my three younger brothers, of course, we just lost our minds, and then it got to where like a month and a half before we came, we were like, oh my gosh, what are we gonna get? We gotta get the best thing. And then one year, like all four of us said, okay, you get this, you get this, you get this, you get this. And it was all related to Star Wars. We got Millennium Falcon. Uh, we got a, we didn't get the ad at. We didn't get the ad at, but we got the Sky, uh, the Scout Walker. Anyways, look at this. Superhero, I'm, I love action figures. I mean, yeah, look at this thing. That is so cool. Uh, Amanda got this for me. It's like a drawing, like a penciling. And then this one here, I just love because they just captured, just captured the essence of Superman in um, Superman Return. No, Superman Returns. No, Man of no, not Man of Steel. Superman Returns, I think it was. But here's the deal. We have the honor of working with Imagine That Toys out of Wichita, Kansas, uh, and uh, Gwen and Rob and Paula, family business. So this business is was started by Gwen, age 24, and uh, age 24, thank you, age 24, which I love, she beat me because I started my practice when I was 25 and I thought I was hot stuff. But are you kidding me? Age 24, boom, sets up an entity. Um, and Gwen is the driving force uh, in Imagine That Toys and Rob and Paula being the best parents ever um, came down to support and be a part of that business. Um, and they moved all the way down from uh, Pennsylvania as we had talked here. Uh, on our live. And so they are out of Wichita, Kansas. Uh, they have been in business. I want to let's see, they would have been in business. Uh, is it eight years now, Rob? I want to, I think it is eight years, but here's, what's cool about them. Okay. Is, and I'm going to get it wrong. And I tried to find my notes cause I wrote it down and, uh, yes, we are very excited to have you a part of it. Terry D what's up. But, uh, they are a Lego 14 Christmases. Holy moly. Wow. That's, yeah, see, that's how you, that's how you know how many years you've been in business is by Christmases, the yeah. way that you say, yeah. you know, here's how many tax seasons I've been practicing. Yeah. For those CPAs that are still hanging with us, you know, as well as I do. I mean, it's almost like every tax season adds a year to your, your life as well as to your experience. It's almost like a tax season adds an extra year to your experience, but I digress. Uh, Rob, let's see, 14 Christmases they've been in play. In 2014, Gwen won the Woman of the Year Award for LLS, which is out of Wichita, and she raised the most money in the history of Wichita fundraisers. I mean, that is unbelievable. So out of all the fundraisers, um, Gwen got after it. They're also a member of the American Specialty Toy Retail Retailer Association, uh, A-S-T-R-A, so Astra, probably. I love it. So how you, people, that'd be the slang. Yeah, that would be the slang. And uh, they put together the best video ever. It was totally awesome, totally, you know, they took us in their store and uh, walked us through. Gwen did great, even took us in the back and showed us their inventory. And uh, we were, I was excited. I mean, I, I think, 
I rewatched that in bed. Yeah. I watched yeah. it twice. Like, uh, I watched it. Morning. Yeah, yeah. I watched it, and then I was like, I gotta see this again. And I think they were the first one that sent us a video. Yep, they were. And they all were the first one to send us a video. Yeah. So we really appreciate that. Uh, but then I wrote this down. Maybe I already just said it, but I want to make sure I get it out. I wrote it down, and I'm going to probably get it wrong. But they are a gold ambassador. Rob, am I saying this correctly? They are a gold ambassador for Lego, which is, like, unheard of. Like, um, probably the ones that have that would be, like, national chains. And, uh, okay, Lego Gold Standard Store. Okay, well, I had the gold correctly. But uh, a Lego Gold Standard Store, and uh, that was one of the things that was in their video. So they have to, I mean, if you're going to be anything related to a brand like Lego, okay, then you have to do it right. You have to be successful. You had to have probably done a certain number of orders, meaning you're doing business with Lego, mm -hmm. okay? It's not something you can buy. It's not something you sign up for. I'm sure it's a, I'm sure there's a very strict criteria for that. And uh, Legos are like, I mean, you take Legos, you take, you know, Lincoln Logs, right? You can just take the term action figure. I mean, bottom line is, is my point is, is like Legos is that together, right? Lincoln Logs, action figures, boom, you have Legos, been yeah. around forever. Rob says Lego Gold Standard, standard Store. Okay, I thought that I just said that. Yeah, Lego Gold Standard yeah. Store. Oh, okay. So, uh, O-R-O, -O, yes. I'm sorry, I, I thought I had already answered you. O-R-O, yes, on the EIDL. So anyways, with Rob, we are going to go up and see them. I'm so excited mm -hmm. because we're going to be able to see them quicker than we can see anybody else we were supposed to. Closer. Yeah, we originally were going to be uh, going to Kettle Falls this weekend that we're going to yeah. go up to Wichita. So we're going to be up there and uh, hanging out with them on Sunday, May 24th. Uh, we'll grab lunch and then we'll hit their store and get some footage. Uh, we talked about bringing maybe Nick to help uh, with some camera action. That's right. And uh, so Rob and Gwen and Paula are going to be our first of the four to actually go visit. We are super excited. Yeah. Because for one, I mean, come on, it's a toy store. Yes. Like, who, you know, remember whenever you get so excited because you go to Toys R Us? Yeah. So now we're going to a legit toy store. So you'll at least... Every other month, I would go into Toys R Us. Mm -hmm. Every other month, mm -hmm. just to look around. Mm -hmm. I may not even buy anything. I think it's so sad that we don't have more toy stores. So I'm so glad that we have one on this show because they don't get enough respect. Yeah. Who wants to go to Walmart or Target or even look online at Amazon? Like toy stores are just classic, and there needs to be more of them. That's Absolutely, and there's not going to be more of them. I know, which is sad. Yeah, but I'll tell you. Here's what's awesome about um, imagine that toys is that they do virtual shopping yeah. experiences, so to speak. So you can on their, on their Facebook, you know, click, find a time and they'll basically get on camera with that individual live and walk around and see what that kiddo wants. Uh, they have curbside pickup mm -hmm. and uh, they did that when I was talking with them, uh, it was probably already a couple of weeks ago. They were doing that with um, a, a kiddo in Chicago. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah. So I was like, oh my gosh, you could do that anywhere, Australia. I mean, meaning like here you are, you're in Wichita, Kansas, uh, God's country, center of the U.S., <clears throat> okay? But who's doing that? Right. They have so many opportunities, and we're going to talk to them really about social media and the power of that and where all that can take them because they are such an industry that is disappearing, yeah. They're really getting eaten up by the big box retailers and it's really hard for small businesses, especially toy stores, to stay. So we want to help these guys so much. Yeah. And, you know, the thing is, is that it, if it wasn't for, for COVID, of course, we wouldn't have met any of these individuals. Right. Um, and it, just like the other businesses, it's like these are thriving businesses. They're kicking tail. They know what they're doing. They've been in business for... A long time. I think uh, actually Gwen's going to be our senior business owner at uh, what was that? Fourteen Christmases mm -hmm. uh, because uh, we've got. Um, let's see the 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 dance studio is seven years. Um, well, no, 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 no. Let's see. Is Cindy? I want to know if Cindy's still on. 
uh, because Pedal Spin Studio, I want to say, is probably Cindy 10 is years. Cool. Cindy, is it 10 years? Uh, let's see. Is it 10 years, Cindy? <coughs> Cindy's trying to scramble. <laughs> let's see. John, let's see. SSBA46 is good. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> Paul's saying, for what it's worth, no longer waiting. Yeah. I just want you to see. Okay. I know we're going to wrap up here. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I'm, I'm getting close, so keep an eye on my glass because I don't want Paul to out drink me. Yeah, but I do want to say a quick shout out while we wait to see if Cindy's going to be able to answer or not. I know she's still on for the tag 12 oh, years. Oh, 12 years, okay. But um, make sure that you guys have given a thumbs up before you head out, and we so appreciate you guys, and it really means a lot to me that you guys logged on today to watch and to wish JJ a happy 23rd yes. anniversary because he deserves that. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thanks for everybody being on. We're very excited about the reality show. Um, Amanda was handing me breaking news that supposedly the house, now you gotta get it through the Senate as well, but the house is close to passing the no, HEROES they, Act. They did pass it, but- Oh, I'm sorry. But um, the Senate's already saying that, and President Trump's saying he's going to veto it. So yeah, it's, yeah. It's, so, so, yeah, so on the HEROES Act, um, in essence, it was, you know, going to provide additional relief. Um, and and I, I wrote an article. I didn't write an article. I commented for uh, a couple of publications on this, and that is this, that the reason I didn't think that we needed the HEROES Act yet Okay, don't get me wrong, I understand we all need relief, is that they haven't even doled out what they put together in the CARES Act. I mean, we still have states, Oklahoma included, that people don't even have their PUA. They haven't even received the PUA. So why are we worried about trying to hand out more money when the money they already allocated hasn't even been able to give out? And Alyssa, thank you for everything. I love our family, especially on Fridays. I appreciate that so much. Uh, let's see, Paul's not driving tonight. Alyssa says, I appreciate you. Neely, we're celebrating today. Matt Evans, thank you, JJ, for all your hard work and support. I really appreciate that. Gene, great to always have Gene on, as, as everybody else. John is doing, all right, he's doing the, John, John's maybe, you know, he's a fellow CPA. Mm -hmm, I know, and then Obro says the vaccine once we get a vaccine. Ah, <laughs> I'm liking that one. So, oh, so Nelly says, I am a real estate broker, but found JJ while researching PPP, and he was the only relevant guy and entertaining. Ah, <laughs> well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that very, very, very much. Thank you all so, so much Save for that. your information out there. Well, I appreciate that very much. So when we are um, talking about the HEROES Act, um, it was to give out more money. And so I know that we still have companies that need relief. I think though that where the HEROES Act could have helped is in the areas where people fell through the cracks, right? Where, where are they falling through the cracks? Those that have a Schedule C and it was a loss. Uh, so one of, the, one of the people that we're working with, they have a Schedule C and it was a loss. Why was it a loss? Because they had a whole bunch of capital improvements. The business isn't running a loss. Mm -hmm. It's because there was a whole bunch of depreciation, okay? And then you take businesses that, we have another one, and properly so, okay, properly so, they had a lot of independent contractors. Well, that really reduces down on the amount of PPP they got. And so I know that we can't give it out because they're not gonna give money to those that could get it, okay? But uh, there's, there's some areas where there were cracks that people fell into and then didn't get the relief. Or take an Uber driver or a Lyft driver, right? Okay, well, they're not really doing anything. The PUA hasn't paid in. Um, they probably don't have a lot of net on Schedule C because they're writing off miles and their vehicle and those, those are, are good tax deductions, but it's reducing down. But also, we still have a hundred billion or so, Amanda, left in PPP two. Oh no! And you know, it's got the smaller banks that maybe have the corner on that. Uh, but from my perspective, you know, I look at it as you know the. It's almost like, and this is what I had. This is what I. One of my responses to the to one of the reporters was, 
it, I kind of just feel like it's showing that some, not all, but some of the Congress persons and senators, like you're really not in touch because you provided all this relief and all you're hearing is, oh, there, there's people that still, you know, are having financial difficulty. Okay, why are they having financial difficulty? Is it because they're not getting the PUA in their pocket? Is it because we're in a set of circumstances where they haven't gotten the PPP or they're still waiting on the PPP? The EIDL is another one. You know, it, it got reloaded with 10 billion, uh, but it's a thousand an employee. So maybe that should have just been refurbished a little bit. Uh, those in the real estate industry, as in landlords, people that own real estate and, uh, and, and then uh, uh, rent it out, fell through the cracks. So I would have rather seen a, a CARES Act expansion uh, that picked up those that fell through the cracks. That's that's really where I feel like the relief should be, not just more. And then and then let's let's just be honest. Um, as my as my stepdad would say, it's better than a sharp stick in the eye. The stimulus checks, right? Twelve hundred dollars for each adult. It's better than a sharp stick in the eye. Okay, but let's just be honest. I mean, if you're a single individual and you got twelve hundred bucks, depending where you are in in the world or in the US, maybe that covers one month's of rent, maybe a half a month's worth of rent. So don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not saying we shouldn't have sent it out, but it was, a, it was a, I don't know, was that enough? Because that's really the only thing that seemed to be provided to you know, those that, uh, you know, if, you have, if you have a household and only one of the, one of the people work, you know, one of the adults work, you know they're not gonna they're not gonna qualify for PUA. They're gonna get the twelve hundred bucks, uh, but there's still people even waiting for their twelve hundred dollars. Man, I mean, I've got clients and they're telling me they haven't received it, or a lot of them they're saying, well, my my mom hasn't received it yet, or you know their kid hasn't. When I say kid, like their twenty six year old kid who's had a full time job for years, is still waiting on their twelve hundred dollars, um, and they need it. I mean, you take a twenty five, twenty six year old. That 1200 bucks is needed, especially if they're not working. Now they may get the 600 PUA, but it's not even being paid out. Anyways, I digress just to say, <laughs> I think the HEROES Act probably would be best not passing all the way because I don't think it's addressing where the holes are. It's just giving more to those that already got. I'm not saying that they don't deserve that, but there's just, there's three huge holes. Schedule C businesses that had a loss those that rent out real estate, and then I'd probably really put in the third one is S corp owners that didn't pay themselves, a, you know, a huge wage, meaning they're they're taking distribution and wages. So S corp owners that didn't pay themselves a healthy number, a healthy amount of wages, they really lost out there. And then the SBA came out with guidance slate. So as it relates to partnerships, so there could have really been additional. Uh, relief going back to partnerships saying, hey, okay, so you already applied, you got your money, here's another way that you could have um, gotten it, but you didn't know it because we came out with it 11 days after we started the program, so if you want, you can go back. Here's my point. I'm not saying that we don't need more relief, okay? But we don't need more relief just only in the areas that we already provided relief. So anyways, and then if we have 100, 100 billion left of PPP, um, maybe you go, hey, listen, uh, we're gonna give everybody another week, get your money on PPP, uh, and then we're gonna take whatever is available left and then we're gonna pop that over into EIDL because EIDL helps that business that has a negative, uh, has a loss on the Schedule C. Uh, it helps the business that's renting out real estate. I loved EIDL. The advanced EIDL was a beautiful thing. It was simple. It was easy. And when it first came out, it was, you know, 10 grand basically a business and you got the money quick. They had a great way to verify the information. It was a smart way to verify the information. It wasn't enough that we would have all the, the, the you know, the waste that we've probably had potentially in PPP. Long story short, um, I'm not sure that I'm sad that Heroes, the HEROES Act didn't pass. And then, nope, all politics aside, it's like, man, how much more are we gonna, how much more are we gonna dole out? 
You know, um, I was a little surprised at the Heroes Act because Nancy Pelosi, and this will be last comment on this, but Nancy Pelosi, um, and, and, you know, you might guess what side of the aisle I'm on, but, you know, Nancy Pelosi, when the CARES Act was trying to get passed, she said, you know, listen, we're, we're passing this on to our grandchildren, and that's a real political statement. However, when Nancy said that, I was like, kind of right on this one. Mm -hmm. This is a huge amount of money. This is not a political statement. Nancy Pelosi, whether you like her or you don't, it was almost like, that's a pretty true statement here. Now, uh, long story short, but Nancy's leading the way for the HEROES Act. That's another three trillion. So to me, it's like, wow, I mean, you know, I thought you were saying this. I, I agreed with you on that. Why are we doing another three, tr three trillion? I know, I know. It was just mine. So, anyways, uh, and then you and I saw a rant. We saw a rant today. El President Torre. Yeah, something like that. Somebody on um, somebody on Instagram, Instagram, and they were hilarious. And there was a lot of cussing involved. It was definitely rated R, but. Just talking about what is going on here. Like, why are we not opening? Let us take our own chances. This is America. We'll take risks. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm glad to hear that we have businesses that are going into phase one. Uh, Oklahoma is going into phase two starting when? Now? Immediately? Yeah, starting to tomorrow. Well, today. Today? Okay, so we're into phase two, whatever that means. Um, and at the end of the day... Criminal. <laughs> At the end of the day, criminal. Well, uh, we have tonight some uh, some festivities to go to. Um, yeah. Our favorite music venue um, is uh, Forty West, and we are going to go hang out with them and our friends tonight and celebrate it's their first night being open. Uh, and and the, does that change the fact that they? They still are, have to be limited capacity, right? Mm -hmm. 40 West does? Okay. Yeah. So. And Terry D, you're like the fifth person that said that to us. We, I am looking into it. It's just going to be a matter of time right now as to when I can get JJ somewhere to where he can mm -hmm. read his book. Because that's, that's really what it, I don't really want someone else to read his book. It needs to be him. So... We are, okay, it, is, it is back there. It's, wow. in, it's in the back of the mind, but you guys are awesome. Yeah, Terry D, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Okay, so been waiting on EIDL for one and a half months. Wow, that's crazy. I would have thought for sure you would have got it by now, because uh, not to make you feel bad, but it did seem like the last week there was a bunch of people saying, ah, oh, EIDL showed up. Yeah. So maybe... Maybe that was that was last week. We haven't heard it as much. We haven't heard it as much. As so week, hopefully so. you will. Uh, hopefully you will get that. So let's see. Uh, let's see. John Hamilton. If I'm not mistaken, I think they allocated another 10 billion in the News Cares Act. Yeah, 10 billion to. I think that's what I was saying. 10 billion. I must have misspoke. 10 billion to EIDL. Right. Yeah, I must have misspoke. Thank you, John. Uh, let's see, John Jasper. Uh, <laughs> with, yeah, this is true. Yep, to, and, and uh, the IRS has come out that unfortunately those that have been, you know, have passed away, got stimulus, people that were uh, in jail. In fact, I, I gave a quote. I haven't seen any of these quotes, so I must not be giving very good ones. But anyways, I, I gave a quote to somebody um, uh, last week, and they're like, well, "What's your take? You know, should people that are on in jail get the stimulus checks?" And and I know right off the bat, it's like, "Well, heck no." And my, my response was, well, it doesn't make any sense because if they're in jail, what do they need the $1,200 for? But what I had indicated, though, is that maybe we, we, you should probably look at it carefully. When did they go in? When, when did they start getting incarcerated? And only because do they have kids. That's all. It's not the kid's fault that they have a parent in jail. And I understand the kids don't get $1,200. bucks; so they would get 500 But by, you know. Anyways, that was, that was my whole thing. I don't think anybody that's incarcerated should get it. Uh, illegals, like, how do we not know that? How does how's the IRS, I, and I, I'm not picking on the IRS, I'm the last one that ever picks on them, but like, how do we not know that? I, I, well, we're sending out stimulus checks to people who have, who are, who, who have died. I know, so, but they, I could kind of see that because if they haven't filed a return, right? Now, if they're collecting Social Security, Social Security would know, okay, right, but, but I have, right. I have a client Right. And her mom passed away, bless her heart. And they've been clients for over 20 years. It broke my heart to, to hear it. 
and um, uh, at the time, and uh, her mom got the stimulus money, and they, they you know, I, I guess I'm, ta I'm contradicting myself, and she was getting Social Security and had stopped Social Security, so they did know. They, they Crazy. did know. I'm telling you, um, Card Shop Reality just loves us because he has walked by, just when he said, just walking by, Fiona, Fiona Apple had a song, I wonder what the title of it was, <laughs> and then he's like, Criminal! <laughs> Criminal. 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 Uh, what I, oh, it says, let's see, wait, I need to get another beer. Paul's, <laughs> Paul's got to get another beer. I'm loving this. I'm loving it so much. So anyways, we are going to 40 West tonight. We're going to see the gang. We're going to see uh, Morgan and Dave and Lee Ray and Terry and Terry and James and uh, Danny. All kinds of people. It's going to be fun. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah, yeah. And, and the other Danny and um, uh, maybe, no, Will's not coming. And uh, Conrad Tink, can't come Conrad can't had come. Had Conrad just had a baby. Congratulations, Conrad. And um, okay, Tink won't be there because he has a son. Tink, okay, Tink won't be there. Um, and and th so these are good friends of ours that have, they have bands. They have local bands, which is freaking awesome. Clay, you still on? I told, uh, the other day I was like, hey, by the way, I manage a local band. Clay's like, of course you do, JJ. <laughs> yeah, Clay but anyways, is on. Clay is on. Boom. I, uh, I mean, I just pack and tag him. So that's oh, okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha, Bye, gotcha. Card Shop Reality. We'll see you. See you Monday, Card Shop. Glad you guys are back open. So uh, Maybe I'll have braces on Monday. Oh. <laughs> This is true. I like this. I like this. We have to make sure they're braces and not suspenders. Yeah. 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 So Paul got a it's fresh my beer. Minute cameo that I do in the very beginning. <laughs> People have said I love the first minutes, eight minutes of the show. So yeah, and then they're out. Minutes. See ya. And then I'm gone. The Amanda show. That's right. Followed, followed by the JJ, the CPA show. Today we talked about apparently Amanda's an alcoholic because all I did was talk about. Oh. You're talking <laughs> about. You're talking about, <laughs> you're talking about. You're talking about the alcohol. Yeah. yeah. Well, listen, so let's see. Uh, by the way, my sister is a CPA, forensic accounting, looking for criminals. Yeah. Uh, forensic accounting is a different, I mean, like you got to be good. Okay, refill at 40 West because I actually have like six things to get after for clients once we're well, done before get, we I'm go. Not, I'm not you have to get ready. You won't look wonderful. I'm not going to. Okay, rolling my eyes because she is not lively and I cannot believe how JJ the CPA be so entertaining because we all know CPAs are usually not this lively. Too many more. Uh, too many more years, JJ and Amanda. Thank you for that. Okay. Thank you. Thank Criminal. You. Criminal. I'm just going to take a sip. And so, um, we will be updating. Gone too. We will be updating our calendar on the website and then tonight be sure to tune in to JJ the CPA it's pedal time second episode of the reality series and then I'll be doing a weekend update um, to talk about where we're at on things and I think it'll be lively uh, I don't think I'll go into I did a special uh, and I didn't tell people about it but I did a special like 45 minute video that was a troll special and I didn't tell anybody about it for 12 hours. I mean, I, I later then said, hey, this was a special just for trolls to give them all kinds of meat to chew on. Uh, but anyways, you'll, you, if you wanna be entertained, you can go uh, watch that 45 minute video. Uh, you can watch the prank video. But this last week, don't get me wrong, not that I'm just gonna go all boring on you, but this last week I was taking a little bit of a breather uh, because I kind of felt like we were in between. We hadn't had anything really new coming out. And then, of course, question 46 came out. It's been quite a popular video. Um, let's see. Uh, Neely, there is... Um, well, shoot. Uh, I think... You know what? As soon as we... It's, it's in my playlist called the Reality Series. Um, but I thought that I put yes. a link in the body of this. Yes, Nelly. It's on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Sorry. YouTube. Yeah, yeah. It's homemade. It's homemade. It's not on Bravo Channel it's, yet. It's a, it's a Ma and Pa reality show, but it is the Ma and Pa because it's a D, Amanda, and JJ. It's a collaboration of him and I. So I, I'm actually involved in it. Yeah, you are. Big time. John wants to know, have I done the gear up seminars? Uh, there is a, there's like, I think there's like official gear up, like it's the name of a company maybe even. 
Uh, but I do surgeon seminars and um, the um, surgeon does these, you know, online. I do a monthly show on that. So I don't know if John Jasper, if you were asking about that. Gene, you're right. The student loan thing, it would be nice if it was, uh, if it was related to that. Mike Fisher, sorry I'm late. Had to help my dad out this afternoon. Uh, Mike is a fellow, drives uh, the same car I do. He does? Yeah. He really, really does? Yeah, it's a, it's a XJ, it's a different year. Nice. But I, I, believe it, I believe it's an XJ, but anyways. Very hey, fancy. thank you so much, Salvatore, and thank you, Mike, for, for jumping on, and Candace. Oh, wow, Candace donated to b for b Cares. Happy anniversary. Ah, that, for real, like right here. Thank you so much, XF, or X -F XFL Premium. XFL Premium, nice. Candace, thank you so much for that. Very generous of you. We really, really appreciate that. And, and I should tell everybody, you know, b for b Cares, these are this these is these are our this is our family right this here. They already family. know. They already know. But for those of you that have uh, just joined us or are new to the family, um, they are probably not aware of b4bcares.org. So it's .org, b4bcares.org. But Tony, <laughs> uh, the godfather of this, um, basically said, "JJ, we like what you're doing. You're not charging anybody." So there's a group of us. Uh, that can help other businesses. And then he said, and what I'd like to do is have you set up a foundation, um, get a board together. I want to donate some dollars to it, which was a like phenomenal seed money, so to speak. We've already identified one business that we think we may help. We just shored up getting our board finalized today. Uh, and uh, so, so we've got everything set up. We're just finalizing who's going to be on our board, which we got done today, which was awesome here on my 23 year anniversary. So Candace, thank you so much for that. And, and then, I, oh, go ahead. You got something? I want to give a shout out to Adrian who just hopped on. I've been waiting to see if he is going to hop on. He sent a really nice email today, but his PPP was just approved. Oh. So um, he was going to, he's going to send us a picture of him with his t-shirt. Nice. And his PPP was just approved and closing documents were just uh, signed. Good. So, awesome. all thanks to you. Yeah, awesome, awesome. So, congratulations, Adrian. Oh, what was Cindy's question? We forgot all about it because we got busy talking. Well, so, we while she's work. finding that, we're getting ready to wrap up, but we've got four different businesses we're working with on this reality series. And... The, here's what here's what I'm getting out of it. We get to help businesses. We get to put on YouTube. Hopefully, it'll be entertaining, fun. You'll learn a little. Um, but I'm not uh, charging for my time. They're not clients of mine. They are now just become fast friends. But we've got Backyard Barbecue out of Kettle Falls, Washington. We're going to be up there July 14th. We got Pedal Spin Studio Bye, out of California. Shop. See a card shop. Uh, Pedal Spin Studio out of California. We're going to be there Sunday, uh, July 12th. And then DreamWorks Performing Arts Center and Wellness, uh, DPAC, we're gonna be up there Friday, July 17th. And then we are gonna be up in Wichita, Kansas at Imagine That Toys with Gwen and uh, Rob and Paula. And that'll be May 24th. Uh, but basically this series is just, here's what's going on. We're, we're uh, hopefully you'll stick with us on it because uh, I think we spent Four hours just in production yesterday, meaning like putting together, okay, five hours yesterday and then another one, it was four hours putting it together. So we're trying hard to make it, you know, good as much as we can and uh, entertaining, but at the same time informational and trying to make it a little different. And so instead of me showing up and helping you get a new bathroom, I'm showing up and helping you look at your numbers differently. And it sounds more exciting. It, it's, it, it is more exciting than what I just said there. So. Hey, thank you for tuning in. Thank you so much. Uh, I've got a little bit left for Criminal. You all have a great weekend. Mike, thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate that. Too Funny Today, uh, it, my thank first 33rd anniversary. Mike's is 33. What? Nice. That is nice. awesome, Mike. Congrats to you on that, my friend. Thank you, Ron. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, John, I'm going to top this off. Glenda Darkwater Meds is diving, so he said that he would see us in several days. But if you go follow him on Instagram and Facebook, he is posting updates of all of his stuff, so go follow him. 
Yes, Gene, let's see. Oh, I, I think I'm, I'm just like way behind. Okay, yeah, Gene, I did like the student loan forgiveness as well. All right, Glenda and Rob and Sandra, thank you. Salvatore, thank you so much. CSR, Alyssa, and let's see, Mike Fisher and... Doop, doop, doop. Oh, this thing jumps around on me. And uh, Flying with Colors and Neely and Candice, thank you so much. Stephen Bros Tax Service, thank you so much for popping on. Yes, love me some good backyard barbecue. Sky Auto Broker, thank you so much. And Carol, thank you. And Adrian, and let's see, John Jasper. And uh, let's see, I'm just popping up here. Brooke, congratulations. Uh, I managed and sang and danced in a band until a year ago. Brick House Show Band in Seattle. Boom, I'm loving that. Uh, loved seeing people's face when I told them I was a CPA. Oh my gosh. Um, Brooke, if you could, if you would, send me an email because you have got to meet John Garrett, who is a who is a CPA. He is the recovering CPA. He is now a stand-up comedian, has his own show on uh, XM. And he just now goes around and does seminars to CPAs. He's done them on behalf of the AICPA. Um, but he's the recovering CPA because he became a CPA. He was working at one of the big houses. And then just, you know, one Friday just up and he's like, you know what, I'm out of here. I'm going to go do a stand-up comedian career. And he's met everybody. I mean, everybody. Jay Leno. I mean, he's just been everywhere. But anyways, he has this podcast that you have got to be on if you're up for it. Send me an email. I'd love to connect you because it's called What's Your And, A-N-D. What's Your And? And he just exclusively interviews CPAs and talks to them about what else do you do in life, right? Because CPAs are seen maybe as we just are number crunchers. But anyways, that would be awesome. Hopefully you're still on. Thank you, Brooke, for that. And then let's see, uh, Paul, boom. Thank you so much for keeping us going on the criminal. And, uh, and, and Kathy, I really appreciate that. Thank you for your comment there. And uh, Terry D, thank you so much for being on. And then uh, Scrine Productions, I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly. Aw, Fred remembered it was anniversary. Thank Aww, you. Thank, thank you, you Fred. I appreciate that so much, so much. We'll talk about that on Monday. And uh, thank you so much, Fred. You are one in a million. Everybody here is. Karen, thank you. John Hamilton, thank you for coming on. Danielle. And let's see, Cindy, thank you so much. And Rob, can't wait to meet you all in person. Matt Evans, thank you so much. Uh, o. Rowe, uh, the Vincini. And let's see, Terry D. Okay, everybody that's on, thank you so much for joining us. I know that there's more on than I'm saying, but uh, C. Fulford 66, Gene McIntyre, uh, thank you all so much for joining us on this Friday. We appreciate uh, you all. Yes, Fred and Tony and ADP and Dax. Time to dig the old leather braces out of the closet <laughs> and step it up around here. Oh my gosh, I love that, Dax. That is, that is phenomenal. So, Glenda, thank you. Terry D., you have a great weekend as well. Uh, ADP, Pedro, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Appreciate all of you. JK. Uh, Brooke Witt, yes, boom. And then, uh, yeah, Card Shop Reality said, I heard braces. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Sandra, thank you so much. You have a blessed weekend. Thank you for coming on and can't wait to see you on Monday. Uh, let's see, happy anniversary. Thank you, Adrian. And then, hey, tonight, check it out. It's only, it's, it's not even 20 minutes, but it's got some bumping video in it. It is 20 minutes. I mean, Cindy and Michelle are freaking awesome. I think you're going to really get a kick out of this. They're going to love it. Um, we had more footage to work with as well, so it was a little less only JJ talking, and uh, Amanda's definitely involved with that. So, Paul, thank you. Really appreciate you all. Have a great weekend. Uh, Alyssa, thank you as well uh, for happy anniversary uh, to us. Sandra, all right. Well, listen, appreciate you all so much, and then don't you ever forget, you've never met a CPA quite like me. All right. Hey, love you all. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. You made my day. You made my week. You make my month. You made my year. You made my life. This is always what I've wanted to do, something like this. And so thanks for, thanks for, thanks for, for coming on and all the support and encouragement. So we appreciate you all.
All right. Oh, Andrew, argue. Uh, COVID-19 consulting. Take a look at this. I would love your opinion. Um, Stephen Bros Taxers, I already have an opinion on that. Send me an email. <laughs> all right. Hey, appreciate you all. Have a great one. Thank you so, so much. Yes, Candace, thank you. Everybody, the thumbs up. I really, really appreciate that. Paul, Adrian, Sandra, Alyssa, Car Shop Reality, Rob, Cindy, y'all have a great one. Have a great, great weekend. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much.